We are looking inside of a Honer. This is a clavinet pianet combo. Here it's got a couple missing slider caps. Other than that, everything seems to work. It has a couple sticky keys, and I'm asking Matt Kunitz what could be the reason. I put a little bit of silicon lube on the ends, and it helps some, but not much. And I repositioned one. It seemed great for a while, but I'll turn on again here. It's better right now. That was popping a lot. Sometimes you hear that little thwack thwack. It's a little excessive on a couple of them. The B is one of the peaks and the C. Tune out though sounds beautiful. This one is a combination uh, with two individual mixes there for uh, and you can also layer split uh, in different ways or the presets here you can set up to uh, give you different uh, voicings a little bit and um, the um, strings are of course under there and when that pad comes down and bops the string pretty straightforward over here you have you have a roller that uh, moves the damper down so you get more of a uh, repressed up. Let's turn off the pianet. So anyway, that, that damp pre-damps the sound there so you just get a flacky kind of quickly damped sound if you bring that down too far. And uh, pretty straightforward, yeah, electromechanical beauty here. This thing is uh, like a Wurlitzer tying setup back here, but has uh, coils like a Rhodes instead of the, the way the uh, Wurlitzer works with the fan, the uh, electrostatic fan there. And if you turn that part up instead of that, it sounds more like this. So it's a little bit Rhodes-ish, a little bit Wurlitzer-ish. It's kind of somewhere between, as you might expect. <laughs> It's a very different tying design than the Rhodes, more like the Wurlitzer, very different pickup design, more like the Rhodes. And it's got these little sticky um, pads that, uh, as you release it from there, it just uh, grabs and pulls, and it's proportional to how fast you do it as to how much it does it, because <laughs> it has kind of an initial static friction against there and I guess you can get new parts for these things now somebody's making them wonderful wonderful machines very under sung piece of gear here because it uh, was made by superior German engineering and uh, we don't like that here <laughs> America, no uh, yeah I, I certainly do beautiful beautiful piece of machinery and um, going to put the top back on here and try to find out what is going on with those whatever the problem is I can fix it from the front so I'm going to slap the top back on get that all taken care of and uh, do a few patch ups like that lid drug into the thing get that down of course <laughs> all right hey I think we got everything cleaned off now <clears throat> this is the clavinet pianet duo with a crybaby. That's just the clavinet. Here's some of the tones you can get. That switch is so little flaky. Just clean them. Uh, piano 
on top. And I can do the opposite with the piano and the bass. I need more bass probably. And that low note stopped working. I think the sticky pad's dead. Everything else works. Except my finger there. I just did another good job. I'm doing my couch cushions. <laughs> Combine both on top and just the piano and the bass. I could have had the opposite of that, but they didn't do that. <laughs> One thing they didn't do. So here's back to preset mixture. Handsome music in Billings, Montana. A great bunch of guys there. And uh, I just need to get on top cover off and figure out what's underneath that note. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got to do one of all these someday. We're going to do the walk through here soon where we go through and do a progressive composition on everything. <laughs> the key of the C of keys and the key of C. All right. Well, that is all for tonight. Bob Weigel sound off the